Well, how many times have you wanted to accomplish something, but you just couldn't put your mind to it? Today, we're talking with fitness guru Clark Bartram, who has just written a book. It's called Where Your Mind Goes, You Go. And Clark, we're excited to talk with you about it this morning. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm excited to be here, even though it's 5 a.m. here in California, but that's okay because it doesn't matter what time it is. It all matters what goes on right here. There you go. Well, that's a good point. He has woken up very early for us this morning, but go ahead. Tell us about your book. Well, I was hoping you would, Kelly, because I sent it to you for you to review. I don't know if anyone really cares what I have to say, but honestly, it is a 30-day journey towards success. And I wrote the book for people who are like me who don't really enjoy reading so much. Mm -hmm. So it's in very short segments, if you noticed when you did go through it, that it's one day at a time. And I ask the reader not to go beyond one day. And it's really funny because most people want to. When you tell somebody they can't do something, you know, that's when they want to do it. So each day you just do one section. And when you open the book, you'll notice that inside the book there are QR codes. That's really big today is a QR code. So you not only get the written word in the book, you also get a video of me explaining the day's progress and explaining the day's work. So my goal was to bridge old school and new school publishing together in one so I could capture, you know, a huge audience. Sure. Well, it's very smart being able to, to take advantage of technology that way and being able to get people from all phases of their life, no matter what their age. And what do you think is the importance of unlocking your mind and then going on this mental journey towards having a healthy lifestyle? Well, I think it's the most important thing in life. You know, I could take somebody to the gym and I could show you how to do bicep curls or bench presses or I could tell you how to be successful in life. But until you get out of your own way, and for me, that's what I found, especially in my own life. You know, we get up and we say things like, oh, it's so early in the morning. I hate early mornings. <laughs> well, if you start your day off by saying a negative statement like that, where's your day going to end up? It's going to end up on the wrong side of the bed. You know, so everything that we want to go through in life all is started and ended in our mind. And until we can grab a hold of that, there's no way we'll ever accomplish what we could fully accomplish if we understood the power of unlocking the mind. And the lessons that I teach in here are very, very simple because, honestly, I have a simple mind, and, and I don't, you know, want people to have to read a bunch of fluff. Right. I get to the point, and then I ask you to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just so, such gold right there, what he just said about being positive and, and starting the day off with the right attitude because it really does affect how the rest of your day is going to go. And this book, it's not all about fitness. It's also about just having a successful life, as you just talked about, having a good attitude. Yeah, you know, fitness, faith, family, life, finances, it doesn't matter. Anything that's taught in this book, like day one, really gives people a hard time. It's all about forgiveness. Mm. You, you would never think that there's anything to do with how your body looks, but it absolutely does. Until you can, un, you know, let things go in your life that have held you back mm -hmm. from accomplishing anything, again, you won't be as successful as you could have been had you not forgiven whatever it was that has held you back. There you go. Some wonderful advice this morning. If you guys would like more information, you can find out more at whereyourmindgoes.com. Really great advice, and we so much appreciate you joining us on this early morning over in California. And uh, you guys, go check it out. Where Your Mind Goes, You Go. Clark Bartram, again, thank you so much. It was wonderful talking with you this morning. And I'm still in my pajamas. Oh, he is. Look at those pajamas. <laughs> See that, yeah. My Stewie pajamas. I, I'm glad you decided to just show those off. <laughs> Again, oh, whereyourmindgoes.com yeah. for more info. Thank you so much, Clark. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. On over to you, Melanie.